It's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy to find out about fun guy. Then you could do worse than give this guy a try. I can't scream in a dream, or run. Oh goodness me, listen, uh, I'm doing something a bit different right now. I'm doing this live with you, uh, uh, so you see things as I see them, because I'm walking across a graveyard that I was uh, recently in. I'm gonna stop there for a second, uh, pause, and I found something very special early this week. I thought, I'll nip back, have a look if there's anything else going on. And in the corner of thine eye, I saw this white blob from over there, 10 feet that way. So I've set the camera going, because if we find this together, oh, what a feeling. Um, then uh, it could be very exciting if it's what I hope it is. It's a giant buff ball! Get in! Look, look, look! <laughs> yes! Oh, that's pretty special. Uh, I've never found one of these on my own. I've had people show me and take me to a plot where they grow. Uh, so, and that's lovely, you know, to be introduced to a place. Um, but to find your own little spot, and find your own of anything for the first time, it's a great feeling. Right. Tripod, let's get it set up. Let's check out the giant puffball. <sighs> uh, a mushroom, oh, it's not a mushroom, it's a fungus. It's a gastroid fungus, I'll come back to that. Uh, but, but a fungus, it, sh it should be on most mushroom hunters hit list. Everyone wants to find a giant puffball and spot that thing from a distance, as I did, as we did. It was a together kind of thing, I want it. It's nice, that. Now what we got here is Calvacia Gigantia. Now, Calvacia, well, that comes from the Latin, and that means it's like a skull. You get that right? It looks like a skull. Now, Gigantia, what, what I, well, I'm, not even, I'm not even going to tell you what that is, because if you don't know, you can't work that out. Gigantia, get out of here. Go. So, yeah, I said it was a gasteroid fungus, because a mushroom, of course, is typically something with a, a stipe, a stem, and a cap. This is a fungus. Uh, and so it's a gastroid fungus. They call it a stomach fungus because all the spores of this mushroom mm. It's a fungus. Okay, and it's uh, a gastroid because uh, its spore mass is all contained inside like uh, inside this ball. All earth balls and puff balls are that way uh, as, opposed to dis as opposed to dispersing its spores through a gilled action uh, on, the, on the underside of a mushroom typically. Um, spores probably the number one favorite thing to talk about with this fungus because it produces more seed spores than I think any other organism on earth uh, an estimated seven trillion what what seven trillion what now that number's phenomenal I remember hearing something that uh, if you try to hold your breath for every every right okay let's do it this way so you're looking at notes I'm looking at notes, wouldn't he, Chanterelle? Well, it looks like he's looking at notes. Um, there are something like 30 million uh, seconds in a year. And if you try to hold your breath for every one of these spores, okay, I'm getting confused with my own maths here. He should be looking at notes. This is all wafty. Wafty facts. Oh, if every one of these was a second, that's it. That's it. If you, if you, <laughs> every one of these spores was a second, okay, then you would be holding your breath and there's, okay, no, no, no. Stop him. Stop him now. Probably best moving on now, Ali. A trillion is a million million. Oh, oh stop no. it. Which sounds big, but you, you to get a grasp of how big it is, okay? If you, if what, every one of these spores was a second in time and you had to hold your breath. If every spore was a second in time, we'd be holding our breath for how long? You would be holding your breath for 200,000 years. <sighs> Approximately. Rafty facts. <laughs> Let's give you a little bit more about this guy itself. I think I need to pick it up. I think you need to have a right good look at it. Should we do that now? Should we have a little look at it? All right. Can you do it from there? So it will be... Uh, holding on to the ground uh, through a, a faint mycelial kind of strand network and it's quite flimsy because the idea of this back to spores again it's all spores with this guy in it goodness me spore city um, is that the idea of this one is that it can uh, un unconnect from unconnect disconnect from the ground uh, pull away easily so that then it can roll off in the wind and spread its spores then its spores are blowing in the wind all right so it should come away quite easily. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do first? The tension. I'm going to knock on it first 
and listen because we want to see if this is going to be solid inside or if it's started to turn into its uh, dusty spongy spore mass. Let's do a knock first, stay there. Right, getting ready to knock. This is giving you some size of it. I can tell already it's looking a little bit spongy, but we'd be hoping for a solid white interior. And the knocking sound would give us a clue, so coming close to listen. I think the fact that I made a dent in the puffball door suggests that it isn't ready for sounding particularly uh, solid, a solid ring to it. Right, we're gonna give it a little uproot and see if we can hear anything. Should be a gentle little, here we go. Oh, and there it is, that little stalk, just that flimsy little stalk that stops this guy from rolling away and being booted about like a football. Wow, wow, there she is. <laughs> There's some weight in that too. There's some weight. I'm gonna estimate. I'm gonna estimate a good solid kilo. 1,084 grams. We might weigh it later. It's never a kilo, huh? Oh, I, bet, I bet it is. In fact, I bet you a pound it is. Get the money to about. Come on. Oh, you're on then. <laughs> hey! Oh, no. oh. Dodgy scales. Right, I'm in two minds whether to open this up uh, because I've got something big on tomorrow. I'd love to show this off. Uh, so I'll decide that later in the video. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, finding these. So habitat, um, often, most commonly in, in fields, um, often at the edges of fields or maybe even growing in fairings in circles at times. And obviously in pictures and images of that. Um, but they can grow in other places too. They can grow in uh, scrubland, compost heaps, uh, and often woodland edges, not so often in the woods really, but woodland edges, parks and gardens. Do you know what I've just done there? I've just about labelled every place there is on earth other than a desert or a river. People find them every year. You don't find them in abundance. I'm gonna go that. I'm gonna go just slightly less than uncommon. There's kind of a scale. Okay, so not that common, let's say that. I've been doing this for quite a few years and never yet found my own. And I've only found it with other people twice in all that time. But again, that might be habitat based because largely pasture land and fields and I don't go out those places very often. I'm a trees man. I'm an urban little scurrier, little critter. Scuttling about, making people frown at me, wondering why I'm looking at the roundabout in the middle of a Tesco car park. That kind of a guy, that's who I am. And I'll tell you why I'm here. My son's playing football. He's got football training around the corner. It's only training. Don't think I'm not a, ba I'm a bad dad. When I've watched him train for years and years, and the other son the night before, I thought, I'm skipping off, I'll go back to that spot. And look what I've come across. I can't be bothered if he's just got the best hat-trick of his life. Because Daddy's found a giant puffball. Cheers. Okay, how big do these go? Oh, uh, under nettles as well, as well as another little thing, habitat-wise. So these, these, these woodland edges, parkland edges, and here we are, graveyard edge. I'm doing that makes it look amazing. <laughs> but this is how big it is. Still, do you know what? That's, that's, about, that's a good-sized, average-sized uh, giant puffball because they can grow anywhere from from this size a good fist well they start small anyway but around here all the way up to uh, 30 uh, 50 centimeters if you're really lucky and if you're really lucky there are pictures online of they can grow up to a meter um, wide and even more than that I've heard 120 centimeters I've, I've got to approach the subject of whether or not I'm going to cut this open have an eye we'll be hoping for a lovely pure white um, consistency throughout a little bit like solid marshmallow solid marshmallow uh where are we there let's have a look all right but i imagine it's going to be a little bit more on the yellowish side to an olive green kind of color uh, of course my knife won't I'll go right through will it I'll chip away like this here we go oh wow look at that so we're about a week at a time but look at that so this is a classic example of a puffball on the turn. Uh, if it would have caught this uh, a little bit earlier in its perfect stage, it would have been a pure white throughout. Hello. He's having a little go. His mate's dared him to run on into the video. Go on, Dave. Go on. Well, you got away with that. I embrace things like that. Um, it would have been pure white and you could to the point where you can cut through it as a nice firm slice. Um, here, it's on the turn. So it's starting to go kind of doughy, like a bread dough consistency. And here, where it's olive green, that's where it's starting to mature even more. Those spores are maturing until this ends up like a big bag of dust. In fact, what I'll do now, I've not done this yet, this could be exciting. In fact, I've done this whole video and there could be more absolutely beautiful specimens. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna go and have a look, see if there's anything else talking about. It's 
straight away I found something because look in here. So I picked it up from here. There's the little stalk where it was attached. But look at the back there. If you can see, can you see that little brown bar there? Let's have a look with my finger there. I think that's an old one. So we have chances of finding more. Come on. Well, that wasn't hard. About four feet that way, there's a really old one. Well, I'm presuming this is last season. Let's take a look at it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh. Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Now, that would normally be really dry and dusty, but we've had a lot of rainfall. Oh, it is. It's like a sponge. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's light as a feather. Absolutely light as a feather. That's amazing. So can we get some? There's the spores. There they go. There's a few. There's a few million for you. So I've just got back to the car, having come out of the graveyard, and there was a lady there on the other side of the road, and as she walked past, she took her hood down, and she just kept eye contact and just stared at me the whole way. And I realised it looks as though, from a distance, I'm exiting a graveyard with a skull under my arm. Right. Every one of the spores was a second in time, then for one year's 30 million. It's a, a trillion, right? No. A trillion is a million million. Searching, but I 